This video explains how to stack pipe networks and structures, that is, storm or sanitary sewer pipes and manholes using LandXML pipe network files. Many CAD products are able to export pipe network data in LandXML files, but until recently there was no survey field software that was able to use LandXML files to make staking the pipes and manhole rim and inverts easy. Trimmel Access 2019.10 now supports the LandXML pipe network files directly. Pipe Network Land XML files created in applications like AutoCAD Civil 3D can contain pipe network data in three different elements. Pipe network structures, which are the manholes. Pipe network pipes, which are the individual sections of pipe between manholes. And horizontal alignments, which define the geometry of the pipe run through the manholes, typically in the direction of flow. The pipe and structure elements also contain attributes about the pipes and manholes, which can also be viewed in Trimble Access. What records exist in a pipe network Land XML file depends on the CAD application that created the file and the options selected during creation of the file. You can use the pipe records to stake individual pipes between manholes, or you can use the structures record to stake manhole rim and invert elevations. We'll describe these two options first and then later look at the alignments records. The process to stake pipes and structures is just like staking a regular alignment or a point today. Let's demonstrate how to do this. Tap the Layers button to access the files we can display in the map. Tap the XML file to make all layers visible. Tap again to make them all selectable. Tap again to deselect. Expand the XML file to see all layers. Tap Pipes and Structures twice to make the pipes and structures selectable. I'll now zoom into a portion of the network and select some pipes and manholes to show you the details available from the Land XML file. The elevation of the manhole point is the rim elevation, and we can also see the sump invert elevation, as well as an attribute along with other properties of the structure such as diameter, material and thickness. When we browse a line we can see the start and end structure names and some attributes about the line such as slope, diameter and thickness. From the map you can stake either the pipes or the manholes. Stake the pipes just like you would any alignment. You can stake the start or end or anywhere along the alignment, with or without offsets. When staking the manholes you can stake not just the rim elevation but also the invert. Or if there is more than one, which there typically is, you can stake multiple inverts at the one manhole. Trimble Access has been able to stake multiple elevations for a single point for a long time. But until now, the additional elevation details had to be manually entered during stakeout. Now that we have access to the inverts and digital content, we can stake multiple elevations at a single horizontal location seamlessly. Stakeout style sheets SSS files, provide the mechanism to stake multiple elevations. These are installed on your controller along with the help files. Configure the survey style to use the SSS file by going to Settings, Survey Style, Stakeout, and set the point staked deltas format to stake manhole inverts. You can also set this in its options during stakeout. Navigate to the manhole and select measure. When the measurement is complete, the confirm stake deltas screen is displayed. Here you can see the as staked elevation, design elevation of the rim, and the cut or fill to rim. Scrolling down, if there are additional inverts, you will see them all listed. For each invert, you will see the V offset, elevation, V dist, and description, providing you with all the information you may need to write on the stake. So, to quickly recap, from a standard pipe network land XML file, you can now choose to stake the section of pipe between manholes or the manhole rim and inverts. There is one other option we haven't discussed yet, though, and that is to stake a pipe run from low to high point or high to low point through multiple manholes. Some companies prefer to stake structures this way instead of individual pipes or manholes. The pipe network land XML file should contain horizontal alignments for the pipe runs, depending on how it was exported. However, there will be no vertical geometry for the alignment, so we need to get clever and create this from the other records in the land XML file. We use the information in the structure elements to create vertical geometry for the horizontal alignment, and where we find multiple inverts in a manhole, we create an additional vertical element, one hundredth or about three millimetres along the alignment, so that both elevations can be staked. We also remove the pipe and structures from the LandXML file, as we now have the entire network model as alignments. 
the conversion of the standard pipe network LandXML file to a LandXML file with both horizontal and vertical geometry can be done using the ASCII file generator. Having created the vertical geometry for the horizontal alignments, you simply select the alignments from the map and stack them using General Survey. Select the start station, define the station interval and any construction offsets and tap start. Stack the point then pick the next station with the station plus button or tap the arrow key in the station field to see all the available stations such as start, VPI and end. LandXML pipe network files can really simplify as well as speed up the process of setting out storm and sanitary sewer systems and also provides access to a lot of additional pipe attributes giving you a lot more confidence you are setting out the correct structures in the field. For more information visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.